Now we're going to combine like terms. In algebra, it's the way math works. You can only add like things. If I said to you, two apples and three apples, we get five apples. If I said to you, add three apples and two oranges, you couldn't do it because they're not like things. The way math works, you can only add like things. So if I had something like this, 3x plus 2y minus 8x minus y, I want to combine like terms. First of all, this is not an equation. There's no equal sign in sight. If I don't have an equation, I basically have to do four things. It's math. Add, subtract, multiply, and divide. You don't see a dot or a parenthesis. There's no way it's multiplication. You don't see a division sign. Then it's got to be addition subtraction. So here we go. This is an x term. This is an x term. This is an algebraic expression consisting of four terms. Terms are separated by plus and minus. So I have a plus 3x, a minus 8x. The sign is included in the term. So add it and subtract according to the rules of sign numbers. My signs are different. Subtract, take the sign a larger. I have minus 5x plus y. That's the answer. I can't combine x's and y's. There's no coefficient here. The number in front is called the coefficient. If there's no number in front, a one is understood. And that's a common mistake. People forget it. So that's how I get my plus one y. If you want to put the one in, you can. It would never be marked wrong, but ones are understood as coefficients. All right, let's do another one. Let's say I have three a minus two b plus 8a minus 5b plus 6 minus 2. All right, that's a big one. So now I have to do the same thing. I combine any like terms. This is an a term. This is an a term. They're my eight terms. The signs are like, add and take the same sign. I get 11 of these a's. Again, some of you know some algebra in adding and subtracting, which is combining like terms, we don't touch exponents. So don't mix it up with multiplication. There's no way I get a squared. It's just 11 of these a's. I combine my b's. I have a minus 2b, minus 5b. I get minus 7b. I go to my constant terms. They're my numbers. I have a plus 6 and a minus 2. Subtract, take the sign of the larger. I get plus 4. That's my answer. I can't combine A's, B's, and 4's. Now, it's possible to have more than two terms to combine. Let's say I have 3W minus W plus 6W, and I have to combine like terms. To be a like term, the vari variable part, the part with the letter, has to be identical. So these are W terms. I have 3 minus 1, which is 2 plus 6, I'm going to get 8w. All right, let's do one with exponents. 6x squared minus 2x minus 5 minus x squared plus 8x minus 1. So now I want to combine like terms. To be a like term, the variable part, the part with the letters, has to be identical. This is an x term. This is an x term. x squared term. This is an x squared term and x squared term. Over here, this is an x term. It's not identical. This is not an x squared. So they're not the same. It's kind of like oranges and tangerines. They're just not the same. So now I can combine my x squareds. And here we go. Have to remember that's a one. I get five of these x squareds. Subtract, take the sign of the larger. I combine my x's, minus 2x plus 8x. Subtract, take the sign of the larger, I get plus 6x. My numbers, I have a negative 5 and a negative 1. The signs are alike, add and take the same sign. So I get 5x squared plus 6x minus 6. All right, let's do another one. 
you could have something like this, 5x minus 2y plus 8x plus 2y. I want to combine like terms. I can combine my x's. So now you're good. The signs are like add and take the same sign. So I get 13 of these x's. Then I look at my y's. Hmm, I have a minus 2y and a plus 2y. The signs are different, subtract. So I get zero. So you might think that I would get zero y's, but we would never write zero y because if you think of that as a time, zero times anything is zero. We really have nothing. So they cancel each other out. So we just get 13x. I have to do a couple more examples of combining like terms. So let's make it a little harder with bigger exponents. 6x squared y cubed minus 2x cubed y squared minus 4x squared y cubed minus 1. So now I just got to look carefully. This is an x, cube, x squared y cubed term. This is x cubed y squared. Do you see that it's different? This has a squared for the x, this has a cubed for the x. They are not the same. I cannot combine these two. So this is an x squared y cubed. That's an x squared y cubed. So if the variable, variable parts are identical, I can combine them according to the rules of sign numbers. Subtract, take the sign of the larger, I get a 2 of these x squared y cubes. So some of you that know some algebra, don't make the mistake and go and add this and get x to the fourth, y to the sixth. That's multiplication. Addition, subtraction, we don't touch exponents. Then, sometimes you have things that don't combine. I have a minus 2x cubed y squared, there aren't any others. So I just leave it, 2x cubed y squared. No other numbers, so it's just minus one. All right, let's do one more. All right, let's say if I have four x squared y cubed minus three x squared y plus two x squared y cubed minus x squared y minus x y. Oh, geez, that's probably the hardest you could have. So now, this is an x squared y cubed. Not that. This is an x squared y cubed. Hmm. I can combine them according to the rules of sign numbers. So my signs are alike. I get a 6 of these x squared y cubed. Remember, addition and subtraction, we don't touch exponents. Now I go to this one. This is a x squared y, and I got an x squared y. I can combine them. No coefficient. A 1 is understood. The signs are alike. Add and take the same sign. So I get negative four of these x squared y's. This minus xy, all by itself, is just minus xy. So that's it. Combining like terms. We have to combine like terms, and we just have to combine it with distributive property. But I think you'll find this easy. Let's say I have two times. Three x minus one minus four times five x plus two. All right, so we know distributive property. I have to apply distributive property first. So distribute means multiply. So two times three x is six x. I distribute, which means multiply rules. Like signs are plus, unlike or minus. Unlike signs, negative two. One sign mistake, the whole thing's wrong. I distribute negative four. The negative is glued to that four. So I get negative 20x. Negative four times positive two, unlike signs, is negative eight. So I did distributive property. So you do distributive property, which is multiplication rules. Like signs are plus, unlike or negative, all my distributive properties. Then I got to click off in my head. I can't leave it. I'm not done. I have to combine like terms, which is addition subtraction rules. That's the one with all the words. If the signs are alike, add and take the same sign. 
If the signs are different, subtract, take the sign of the larger. So I have a positive 6x and a negative 20x. Remember, your sign is included in the term. Subtract, take the sign of the larger, I have negative 14x. I combine my numbers. I have a negative 2 and a negative 8. The signs are alike. Add and take the same sign. I have a negative 10. All right, let's do another one. I've got negative 3 times 4 minus x plus 2. Distributive property, negative 12, like signs are plus, plus 3x. This 2 has nothing to do with distributive property. Distributive property is something outside the parentheses, and I multiply it by the parentheses. This has nothing to do with that, so it's plus 2. Then I combine what I can. I can't combine my numbers, I mean my letters. There's nothing else with it. So I get 3x minus 10. If you put your number first and you had negative 10 plus 3x, that's perfect too because the commutative property. Order doesn't matter. Okay, next one. This is the one people get wrong. I'll just put a star. 5 minus 4x minus 1 minus 2x. I have to do distributive property first. I do not distribute the 5. If the 5 was here, that would be distributive property. My 5 is way over here. If you remember, if there's no number here, there's really a 1. Then I can't combine these first because remember, in order of operations, Multiplication comes before addition subtraction. So I can't combine my 5 minus 1. You've got to do your distributive property first. So my 5 stays. Unlike signs, minus 4x. Like signs, positive 1. Remember, we're multiplying, not adding. 1 times 1 is 1. My minus 2x has nothing to do with distributive property. Then I would combine like terms. My signs are alike. I have negative 6x. 5 plus 1, I get positive 6. All right, let's just do one big one. 13 minus 2 times 5x minus 1 minus x minus 4. I can't combine them because distributive property comes first have to do all my distributive properties so my 13 stays. I get minus 10x, this is a 1, like signs are plus, I get a positive 2. You got to remember that's a 1. So I get minus x, positive 4. Combine like terms. So the signs are alike, I get negative 11x. I can combine my numbers. 13 plus 2 is 15. 15 plus 4, I get 19. 